Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Polaroid Pronto. It was made in 1976 and 1977. It was designed to be a less expensive alternative to the folding SX-70 SLR. Um, I shot with some Polaroid Originals film, the company that used to be known as the Impossible Project. It's ISO 100. I used the black and white. The original uh, SX-70 film was ISO 150. I think that's right. I think I've also read 160. This was their first non-folding SX-70 model. It went for $66 uh, in the U.S. when it was new. That's equivalent to $293 U.S. dollars in 2018. It has a three element, 116 millimeter, uh, plastic lens. It's f9.4. Um, inform technical information is a little bit sparse, but it looks like it stops down to about f24. That's from a uh, sonar version of this, their manual. Minimum focus is three feet, uh, hair under a meter, and it's a zone focus camera. You just twist the lens to the distance you've guesstimated to your subject. It uh, uses front cell focusing. It has an electronic shutter. goes from 1 80th, not real fast, to 1 second. That info is also from the sonar manual. Couldn't find technical info on this uh, manual focus one. does programmed auto exposure. uses uh, this photo cell here. And it has lighten and darken controls, like pretty much every Polaroid ever. You just twist it towards lighter or darker. The full range should be uh, up plus or minus uh, one and a half stops. It was originally designed to use the uh, flash bar, you know, with the uh, flash bulbs in it, and then you flip it around and shoot the other five. I got a Montgomery Ward electronic flash. Let's see if I can get this guy on here. It works pretty well. Um, originally, there was an accessory pack for this. I don't have that, but it gave you a self timer, and it actually was mechanical. It would um, clip over the thing and actually push the button for you. Uh, it also had a cable release, which essentially did the same thing, and gave this a tripod adapter, which this doesn't have. Um, that is about it for this guy. Um, I don't have the longer frog tongue because the uh, Polaroid Originals slash Impossible Project film, a little more sensitive to light early in the development stage. So what I do is I have the camera spit out the dark slide and just tape it on to protect it from the light. You know, right after it's exposed, that's when it's particularly sensitive. So I had fun with this, uh, with the black and white film. The film is getting better and better. They continue to improve. So I'm going to be on to other cameras. I probably won't shoot with this one again for a while, but I'll see you then.